guys how are you doing I am <laughs> I'm driving around in Katie's car well I just left with Katie's car there was an issue with the air conditioning on my truck yesterday as I was driving home it wouldn't turn on which when I'm in Colorado if I were still there but I wouldn't be driving my truck around so this would make no sense anyways because I don't drive my truck in Colorado I walk everywhere but in Colorado it doesn't matter if your air works or not because it's nice out so the whole way draw the whole drive home yesterday was fine but then as soon as I entered Arizona I didn't have air and it got kind of hot but anyways my whole point is I live where it's really hot so my air has to work so my can mechanic came to pick up my truck this morning He's going to figure out what the deal is and then give it back to me, I think, tonight or tomorrow. I don't know. I think he's going to drop it back off tonight because he left his vehicle in the front yard. Well, not in the front yard, but in front of my house. So my body is still on Colorado time. I immediately woke up this morning and was ready to go. And uh, since we went to bed very late last night, 4 a.m. actually, Katie is still sleeping, but since I'm awake, I'm going to run a few errands. I need to go to the bank, I need to go to the post office, and I actually need to go to Verizon and get a new cell phone. So I don't know how I'm going to have time to do all three of these things. It really depends on how long I take at the post office. So yeah, I'm up, I'm awake. and. Uh, the reason why I'm forcing these things now and not just relaxing at the house is because in about an hour and a half, Katie and I are going to see that Quentin Tarantino movie, What Happens in Hollywood. I'm very, 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 very excited about it. He's my favorite writer slash director. And uh, I was very sad that I could not see it the weekend it came out, but that's okay. We are here now and I'm going to see it today. So yeah, good morning guys. And I'm going to go deposit some money at the bank so I can pay those bills. The ones that I didn't get to while I was gone in Colorado. Yeah, it's really hot out already. Oh, and you guys are flashing. So great. Great. I need to change out the battery. Alright, I was able to make it to the post office and the bank. No time for the Verizon store for the cell phone. Maybe I'll get to do it after the movie. We shall see. I don't know yet. So, 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 so. Hi, Lil. Come on. Come say hi. So I, uh, I misjudged the movie. I didn't misjudge. I completely forgot. The movie starts at 1 o'clock, not noon. So I'm back here an hour early, which is cool because I have time now to open my... I'm going to open this. It's an art book by my favorite artist, so I'm going to open that. But also, Jim, my mechanic, called me as I was pulling into the driveway, and he actually fixed the air conditioning, and he is on his way back with the truck, so we get to drive the truck all day, which is awesome. Right, Lily, isn't that awesome? She's like, I haven't been in this room in a whole month. What has changed? For those of you guys that don't know, this is my ASMR room of all my stuff. Yeah, those are stickers. Those are stickers. Yeah, because there's so much sugar and everything to drown out the sourness of the milk. Katie said I shouldn't drink this. It's been sitting in the 110 degree weather for two days. But it tastes fine, I tried it. There's milk in it. <laughs> but she's right, I shouldn't. We're at the mall. We're gonna see what happens in Hollywood after we get food and a boba drink. Oh wait, let me grab the gift card. I have a gift card in here that I keep forgetting to use. The Katie, you have a Sephora gift card in here. Boba. Suck bucks. That sounds so dirty. Okay, all right, let's go. showing up but it's a there you go it's 117 degrees out it's ridiculous I went from like 54 degrees to 117 degrees nope not cool we'll talk about the movie when we get to her house but yeah I was just showing you how incredibly incredibly not incredibly hot it is so look there's many there's the mini so anyways, the movie, really quick, before I forget. 
bless you. Haiti and her adorable sneezes. Um, what happens in Hollywood, Quentin Tarantino movie. The movie was really, 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 it, it was good. It wasn't really, really, really good. Yeah, that's why I stopped. It wasn't as good as some of his other movies, but you could tell this one was based off of, and I don't want to say that because he didn't even say it, but it was kind of loosely based off of the Manson murders in the 1980s with Sharon Tate and whatnot, but he did his own spin on it. I think that's the only thing we could really say without ruining it or spoiling the movie. But the acting was really good. Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt were really good in it. It was mostly dialogue driven, which is... Yeah, I like Brad Pitt's character. Yeah. I, I always like Brad Pitt's characters. Yeah, I like Brad Pitt too. He's a really good actor. and yeah. he, You could tell he really gets into his I, characters like, and stuff. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of Leo. I like, a, I like a lot of his movies. I loved Wolf on Wall. I loved... Wolf oh. on Wall Street. She always, she never comes over here, but when you're here, she always... Well, I haven't been here for a while. She's like, oh, I haven't seen you. If you like Quentin Tarantino's, definitely see it. It's a good movie. Uh, and if you... I don't know, because I know I follow... Not follow. Well, I guess that is true. I follow s serial killers and true crime and all that, so we knew what actually happened with the Charlie Manson murders and then when we saw when I saw this movie I could see what he did and how he took like artistic license to do what he wanted with it which made the ending of the movie very gratifying because that's not what really happened so just yeah. just research so the Charlie the ending was good but it was also sad at the same time yeah it was it was really good but uh because you know that's not what really happened yeah because you know that's just go look up the Charlie Manson murders and see what, what really happened. And then when you watch this, you'll see the differences. And it was cool. I liked it because of that. I liked the dialogue. It didn't feel, to me, it didn't feel like a two hour and 41 minute movie. It didn't feel that long. It was good, but it never got boring to me. But I think a lot of that is because I really, really enjoy Quentin Tarantino movies. And I'm kind of biased to his, his stuff. But most of the movie doesn't feel like one of his movies unless you know his dialogue but then when you get to the end you can really like feel like his writing and all that he wasn't in this movie he's always in all of his movies even if it's for yeah, a split he second usually makes a cameo. unless make one, we, we missed, missed it. it yeah oh and dakota fanning dakota fanning looked a little rough in this movie she looked like a slob <laughs> yeah but uh, I don't know. Luke Perry was in it. There was a lot of people that, was that had Luke really. That Perry's last part ever, I think. Because remember, he died. Oh, I forgot Luke he Perry died. In died. A oh um, yeah. I liked Margot Robbie. She Margot was, Robbie did really good in she this. Was really and she was Sharon Tate. She, but... Yeah, she portrayed Sharon Tate. Yeah. She seemed like a really sweet person. But no, it was a good movie. I'm glad we saw it in the theater. I would definitely see it again. Nick wants to see when he comes back in town. I'm perfectly okay with seeing that again. But yeah, that was the movie. It was really good. And now we're going to hang out here with the little dog for a little bit. I think we're going to watch some of the baseball game. I am going to go get a new cell phone because mine is garbage. It's been garbage for a very long time. It doesn't hold a charge. The only way I can use it is with this little battery pack. And the volume on it sucks when I'm talking. And then it randomly dies when I'm driving and talking. So I'm going to finally go get a new one because I need to. The only reason I haven't is because I've been kind of lazy about it because I know it's a process. But yeah, okay, that is all. It's hot out. You guys saw that. It's so hot. It's ridiculously hot. So I had been craving, not craving, I really wanted to try the Burger King tacos. The whole time I was in Colorado, they came out and we go to Burger King and they're out of the tacos. So I got kind of upset. I didn't get like upset, upset, but I got upset enough to where I felt like I needed to apologize to the guy. So now he does no, I have the food. <laughs> well, I ended up getting a Whopper and onion rings. I, I asked for mozzarella sticks after, and then they were also out of those. And then he was like, those are the only two things we're out of. And this is why I felt like a total douche, because when I'm in Colorado and I'm out of stuff, people get upset with me, and it like can ruin my whole day. So I, I actually apologized to him. I was like, I'm sorry. So anyways, a Whopper and those. And then since, because I was craving, I was craving these tacos from Burger King, and I know, and I've heard from numerous sources and Katie, they taste just like Jack in the Box tacos, but that's not the point. I want to try them. But anyways, we went to Jack in the Box and I got their tacos, so I can at least get rid of the craving. Because we're not going to go again until next week. 
or the weekend. So yeah, that was our food experience. Yes, please, but not that crappy lame ketchup. I want spicy. That one. That's a good ketchup. Yeah, that's lame. No, this one's good. Okay, all right, we're gonna eat now though. Delicious, great value ketchup. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> night night. We're gonna go to sleep now. I mean, like being quiet. <laughs> Too quiet. It was a nice day off work. Yes. We're gonna go to sleep now. Mm -hmm. Stranger Things is really good so far. I know we're really behind on it, but that's because it came out right before I went to Colorado, and then we waited so we could watch it with each other. So we're like a month late on Stranger Things. But yeah, good. Like it. Okay, we're gonna go to sleep now, though. See you guys tomorrow. Good night. Mm -hmm.